This conference will now be recorded. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. So you all are here to learn something about PEGA. So before that, first let me tell you the process what is happening in this PEGA training. Okay. So in our institute, we'll be having two types of trainings related to PEGA I'm talking about. First, you have to understand the process based on that you have to next decide, right? So that is PEGA basic program is what we have. So where we will be training everything from zero, considering you don't know anything about PEGA. So from there, we'll train you. And the next one is kind of mastery program. So what we call it like PMP, PEGA mastery program. So this is only for beginners. And this is only for advanced, advanced in the sense who are already trained in PEGA or maybe like who are currently working in PEGA for them we will be making everything practically. So with 400 user stories, this kind of things. And now this program will be like 3.5 months, 3.5 to 4 months duration. Okay. And per day, one hour session is what we will be having. That is 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. IST. Am I correct? 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. IST. And in this particular course, we'll train everything from zero, considering you don't know anything about Pega, how to install Pega. From there to we'll make you take we'll make you like CSA and C SSA level. We'll take you the next advanced level of Pega. And here, after each and every class, maybe today after today's class or after tomorrow's class, after each and every class, you will be given with class recording. So maybe if you join for that particular class or maybe if you miss that class for some reason, whatever it is, you'll be getting daily class recording soon after the class. And along with that, you'll be getting like daily class documents. So whatever we are having like class discussion happen, you'll be getting like PDF document also daily basis. And you'll be getting like daily class, assi daily assignments. You'll be getting like daily assignments, almost like 150 assignments is what you'll get. So after each and every topic, whatever we are discussing in the class, it's related assignment also will be shared to you. And those assignments actually meant for evaluation. Evaluation in the sense, consider today you are getting like three assignments. You are supposed to complete it and you are supposed to upload it for me for evaluating. Based on that, we'll approve. Maybe if you are not following best practice, some kind of rejection also might happen. So 150 assignments is what will be given and for every assignment you will be given like two weeks of time just like sprint process after you join company. So you will be given one requirement and that will be given like one sprint of time maybe like 10 working days or 14 days here also you will be given almost like 10 days time for each assignment to be submitted. Okay. And in this course itself will make you to work on three real time projects. So three real time projects. So the first one is like banking project. And the next one is like insurance project. And the next one is like healthcare project. So we'll make you to understand completely working on these three projects where in our class, I'll be taking care of this completely. This alone will take like four months of time. So along with this, whatever happening like four months, so parallelly, you are supposed to do these two things. So I'll make you completely work on these two by giving you proper document and video. So these two things, I'll explain it in tomorrow's class. Okay. So three real time projects is what you have to do. And 150 assignments is what you have to do. And after that, after that, so we'll be taking you like mock interviews once in two weeks once in two weeks okay so maybe from today after two weeks you'll be taking like mock interview and there we'll be completely testing you in terms of communication maybe in terms of pega skills whatever it is so there will be like two weeks mock interview for every two weeks and in between if you are looking for any kind of pega certification help also we can help it here okay we can help it here and this whole program as i told you it will be taking around 3.5 to 4 months period and after this four month period, 
so after this four month period whoever is enrolling for this course and whoever is completing like four months period and if they are completely strong in terms of daily assignments and if they are giving like mock interviews on weekly basis on as per their scheduled basis and if they are doing these projects then we will be making them completely move into this practical program understanding right so whoever the best candidates performing well in this program we will push them to this advanced practical program and advanced practical program will be only offline so you are supposed to come to your institute and this program whatever you are currently joining this is like basic training program this will be both online plus offline so some days you can come online some days you can come offline in between if you wanted to swap so there will not be any such restriction at all so okay yes this is called mastery program where this is only for trained candidates so it might be like trained at our institute or maybe at other institutes or maybe they currently might be working in any other companies if they are lagging somewhere in pega so they will be joining this program so this is only offline where we will be making them work with 400 plus real time user stories completely advanced level real time user stories so this will be like both weekday batch that is like daily batch as well as weekend batches so considering working people prospect to we'll be having saturday batches also so there are people who are directly coming from vijayawada to here maybe chennai to here bangalore to here once in a week and they're having like this course done and they're leaving it so what i'm saying why i'm saying this first is this will be only offline so this can be like both online offline if you are getting trained perfectly here so we'll be moving into this program for completely free else so, tell me. So, I'm now offering a basic training. Mm. So, if I put the basic training, what are the assignments I'm going to do is. So, do I need to um, you know, go for mastery program or what are the training I have? Yeah, yeah. So, I it depends. So, mastery program is not like required for every one of them it's not a mandatory thing. So, as we, are, as we are telling you, in this basic program itself, we are making you to uh, work on 150 assignments and three projects and once in two weeks mock interviews so if you can follow this curriculum that is like four months of training phase so no doubt you can go like three plus years of experience so you might be currently into pega or you might be in different stream or you might be having like career gap or non-native whatever it is since pega is not having any coding that most of you know anyway i'll be covering in the next few minutes pega will not be having any coding at all so whatever your background might be so it is comfortable for you to learn but for this prerequisite is like you have to put hard hard work for next four months that is the only thing you don't require any pre prior java skills or dotnet skills or any kind of coding standards not required so if we can concentrate for next four months con learning all these things perfectly you don't require pmp also you don't require mastery program also but we are giving this like a complementary for whoever is required okay maybe after you're learning this perfectly if you are joining some company so there if you are facing some struggles so those kind of people come into this particular program so this program is actually chargeable okay so people from other institutes or maybe like people currently working so they will be coming here and they'll be making the payment and join and here whoever joining this particular program based on their performance we are trying to enroll into this for free okay once their course is completed once their course is completed make sure by that time they should be taking like mock entry once in two weeks and they should be completing all the 150 assignments and they should be submitting it for us and they should be completing these projects so this assignments and this kind of mock interviews should be completed in this four months phase itself and post that we will be giving you two months of extra time to complete these projects meaning from day one to six months we'll be giving you time for this pmp eligibility program understanding everyone online everyone following right just confirm me online yes. everyone following right? yes, yes, yes. Yeah. so in this four month program every one of you should complete in terms of assignments and then mock interviews additionally we'll be giving you two months of time for this extra two projects first 
first thing anyway i'll be taking care in the class itself these two things also should be done on parallel on daily basis okay but i'll be giving extra two months time from day one to six months if you are okay in all these things you will be completely enrolled this, into this program for free so for some reason if you could not do assignments or mock interviews or whatever it is but if you have if you are having strong desire to join this pmp program then you may have to make payment for that getting my point so this is like um, more prestigious thing what we are trying to do mastery program so people even with the 10 years of peg experience also they are coming to this program saturday's batch and daily batches so this is currently irrelevant for you currently i'm talking about so since you are now joining demo for this basic program you should understand first what is pega then you should completely digest what will be its concepts so how to do the projects and how to do everything without coding so first you have to understand all these things post that you will be automatically coming into this if you can concentrate well so this is the current curriculum what we are having in our pegad training so everyone clear with this process any doubts anyone first we have to understand what is the process based on that we will start like what pega is everyone clear with this process online everyone yes okay Uh, can you explain why is the future of Kama because of the That I talk. Yes. So, that we are ready to start. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. <clears throat> fine. So, first let's start what is Pega. Because you people doesn't have much knowledge about like what Pega is. So, some people might be from different, different backgrounds. So, some might be like having long career gap. Some might be from different background streets. So maybe like some people currently working in Pega and they wanted to learn something more. So you'll be you'll be from different different backgrounds. So first let's start this. Before you starting this program, you'll be having like multiple questions in your mind, like what is Pega, and what will be the salaries of Pega, and what will be the opportunities for Pega in India as well as in onshore countries, and maybe what about the certifications of Pega. and if you take pega course today for next how many years you can survive in the market and what about development project and what about production support project what about startup projects likewise so you'll be having multiple things and regarding eligibility also if you're having long career gap maybe people say like that they are coming from banking sector or non it sector so is this really cut to course or not so you'll be having multiple questions in your mind so let's figure it out each and every question by end of this session itself okay so first let's start with what pega is okay so the simple answer for this is pega is used to develop web applications the very simple answer pega is used to used for developing web applications so what is web application what is web application so consider you amazon application Consider any application, the Amazon application. So for this Amazon application, first thing what you will do, you will try to register, right? So there will be some kind of front end page where you go for registration, or maybe you go for logging in, checking your past orders, whatever it is. So this is kind of user interface design. Am I correct? So there will be some kind of front end. Every website, not only Amazon, and in the front end maybe if you are trying to enter your username and password and if you click on login next what it will do maybe it will take you to the corresponding section corresponding design or whatever it is so in the background it is interacting with its database table whether username and password is correct or not right and then it will be showing the next screen meaning one application should be having like front end design no doubt in it and that should be linked with some background technology it might be java python dot net whatever it is it should be having some background design background technology and this as a whole front end and background should be having one database right should be having one database so finally each and every application in the world should be having three layers so that is front end layer or user interface layer and the next one is back end layer or business logic layer and the third one is database layer every web application should have these three okay 
and in every front end we will be generally designing with html css javascript okay so everyone of you should know like what is html and everything okay so every web application should be having like front end with html css javascript it might be jquery backbone js node js whatever it is and then every web application should even have like backend technology it might be java python dotnet c language whatever and every application should be having 100 percent one database it might be oracle mongodb whatever it is so these three constitute one web application now what is our statement pega is used for developing one web application so designing one web application is nothing new for us right from past 20 30 years is what we are having internet and this web applications trend is from past 20 30 years so whatever the traditional web application we are having so there we will be having everything like front end layer back end layer and database layer completely manually developed completely manually developed but with pega all the technologies whatever you are seeing on the screen these are completely automated these are completely automated in one single tool called pega so pega is one advanced tool where we have all the front-end technologies and respect to back-end technologies and even database part also completely automated so there will not be any coding to be developing manually so without any single line of code, you can develop one web application with this Pega tool. Finally, understood, right? Okay, so all the front-end technologies are completely automated and even back-end thing. Back-end thing meaning Pega is completely developed on Java. Pega is completely developed on Java, but you don't require Java skills. You don't require Java skills. So in interview, no one will ask you questions on HTML either CSS or JavaScript or even Java or database. So you will not be getting any questions on any of these technologies. So they will be asking you how to implement this requirement with Pekka. Suppose if you go for an Java interview now, if you go for a Java interview, if I am the interviewer, I can ask you, I can ask you with requirement like if this is my front end page, and if I'm trying to register in a customer with his username or password, whatever it is, immediately one email has to be triggered for him saying like, you are currently logged in. So if this is my requirement, how do you develop with Java? For this, there should be a lot of Java code to be written manually. But same thing, if you wanted to implement with the Pega, so no one will expect you writing physical coding. So they will ask you, if this is the requirement, how do you implement in Pega? So we know all the respect to things are automated. You should understand how to implement that, how to implement that. So interview prospect to, you should understand how to implement concepts in Pega. It's not like how to write physical coding. Getting my point? Okay, so let me show you one thing. So generally to send email we should be having lot of java code right so there will be already existing one and if we just expand this whatever the java code required to send an email that is completely automated whatever the java code required to send an sms whatever the java code required to store details into a database table so whatever your requirement might be so in pega everything is automated so you don't require remembering this java code so you should understand this particular thing to be called on button click so how to implement this concepts in pega that is what the challenge is it's not like you remembering or writing any physical code no one will expect you that so pega is completely automated in every backend design if your requirement might be whatever storing details into third party database table or if you come up with a requirement saying like I want to send an email to my customer or if you're trying to say like I wanted to send an email to his parent so whatever your requirement might be 
so in pega everything is automated you should just understand how to use that okay so finally with this statement no background required for you you need not say that i don't know pega or i don't know anything about java you need not say that you don't know anything about html you don't require or you don't require any prior knowledge for learning pega finally what i'm saying is no prerequisite is required everyone can learn pega so you people might be from btec background within btec maybe mechanical or whatever it is since pega is completely automated just logical thinking and four months of practice only these two things are important so next everything is like secondary okay so you might be currently working in any technology or you might be having long career gap for either of these two cases pega will be of equal level pega will be of equal level only four months hard work is required so finally pega is one automated java tool am i correct automated java tool where we'll be having all the front end technologies and back end part is completely automated and even data based part is also completely done so these three constitute one powerful tool called pega okay so using pega you can design any web application any web application pega is one automated application development tool with java with where it uses latest front end design so as we understood for front end we use html right so within html the latest one is html5 hypertext markup language 5 so pega is automated with that okay any kind of front end styles and even back end is done and we don't require any prior knowledge just for doing pega development and for this front end where we go for drag and dropping i'll show you that so this uses automated java things for extra processing okay clear right so for everyone clear with this statement okay so maybe today you join one company after this four months of phase you will be going for certain interviews and you are selected for certain company maybe like cts okay maybe like cts so what will happen on day one in your cts company so if i am the cts manager there so first what i will do i'll try to make you on bench for one week or two weeks so within which you will be allotted with one project am i correct so project might be like city project or bank of america whatever it is either banking sector or insurance sector projects will be more of so this client will be giving you certain requirement for you okay so client that is city client they will be taking pega license and they will be asking cts company to develop their application you are joining like a developer there am i correct okay so if your client is giving you this particular page to design okay if your client is giving you to design this page so what you will do for this first you have to analyze how many images are there how many text fields are there what about the coloring part maybe like validation part everything as a whole you you should analyze so day one if you are given with this requirement first you should understand how to implement this front end part so you will simply drag and drop one image am i correct and that image should occupy only 20 percentage to its left and below which there should be one video continuously playing this also should occupy 20 percentage and in the remaining 80 percentage of the space again you have to split into two halves am i correct so where there should be one heading with the blue color and with an image and with one expandable and collapsible arrow and where it should be showing with first name last name all these things so just to design one web page you will straight away drag and drop and implement it okay you can straight away drag and drop and implement if you wanted to design the same web page in the traditional manner that is with html coding so you have to write coding for this image you have to write one line of code for this for everything you have to write coding but with pega for the front end part i'm talking about for now everything can be simply drag and drop so within drag and dropping you have to concentrate on alignment part am i correct you have to concentrate on styles what should be the color what should be the height of this heading what should be the width of this heading and within which again you have to divide into two halves where first name should be in the bolder and it should be having one mandatory star symbol and it should be having one default text here okay so this whole things you are supposed to implement 
and that too within last name if i enter like one two three is this correct so consider after you designing next it will be going to testing phase am i correct so if i'm the tester i'll test whatever you developed so here if i'm testing with something like dummy value like one two three if it is accepting is this correct no right it should so show some warning error so how this validation this we call validations so how this validation part is designed everything is to be properly done so finally designing one web page is much easy compared to traditional manner but designing everything is not that easy as what we see here so finally doing pega developing a project with pega is easy compared to other technologies but this itself is not easy getting my point don't think pega is that easy it's not that easy but compared to any other things you take any other technology like salesforce java dot net python whatever it is compared to any other things this is easy but this itself is not easy so that is the reason from day one what i'll say is you have to concentrate thoroughly for next four months okay logical thinking is important no physical coding only logical how to implement this validation part how to implement this ui part how to implement this email triggering part logically you have to understand this comes only on practice so if you are given with this requirement to design one web page what you will do so you will just simply drag and drop you will apply styles you will do validation in other part correct okay so after this front end part so generally you will be given with some button also generally okay so screen number one maybe consider this as like amazon registration page so after you entering details there should be a button like login or submit or whatever right so generally there will be a button and if we click on this button generally what happens this is one registration page after you entering all your details if you click on submit or register button generally what happens generally register meaning if we click on this register button all the details whatever you entered those to be stored into database table. that is one basic requirement am i correct okay so without we holding the details what is the point of collecting so the very first requirement is to be like storing all these details into backend database table. that will be one basic scenario and the next one can be immediately one email can be triggered to this respect to customer whatever the email id he is providing there for that one email has to be triggered if these two are the requirements given for you so for sending email we know there should be lot of java code and that too you don't require writing so there is automated for that so what you will do so this is the name you just you have to understand how to use those here so this is the name you will simply copy that and on this button click or on this button click you will just pass that name and whatever the email id we enter if we can pass it like a parameter email will be triggered so this can be done in fraction of minutes less than 15 20 minutes same thing if you wanted to do with other technologies it will take minimum three hours time minimum for a well experienced java candidate it will take minimum three hours time for you you don't know anything about java still you can achieve same requirement with this automated design understood fine and the second requirement might be on clicking of this button so de details are to be stored where in database table right so generally database will understand only sql queries database if you wanted to deal with database it might be inserting a new record or updating the existing one or deleting whatever it is so if you wanted to make any modifications with the database 100% SQL query alone can work there. Meaning database will not understand what is Pega. Database will not understand what is Java or .NET or Python. It will not understand any backend technologies. It will understand only SQL queries. Meaning on this button click, you are supposed to generate one SQL query so that data has to be stored into this table. Am I correct? So even for generating SQL query, you don't require anything manually done. Okay, so Pega can generate its own SQL query and store one record into this table. Getting my point? So in coming classes, you'll come to know. So if I wanted to store details into two tables, 
so on this button click what extra things is what you have to do so there you'll come to know in detail so finally what i mean to say here is in pega related front end is automatically done and java is completely done in terms of methods what we call it like methods and even sql query part is also done so you don't require any kind of sql query you don't require java coding or even front end part so this is like 95 percentage automation pega is like 95 percentage automated in every aspect and apart from that five percentage customization is also given for us customization suppose i can see one image here which is like statically showing up correct if my requirement is to if my client is asking me to show an image continuously rotating or kind of graphical design extra design so if that is not implemented there you can go for customization so five percent scenarios where you have to go for customized java code or customized html code whatever it is 95 percentage is automated five percentage is the customization extra given for us okay fine so finally we are understanding using pega we can design one application from front end to back end without anything kind of coding so so far everyone clear online everyone clear okay and to be more specific so pega is used for developing internal applications what was our earlier statement pega is used for developing applications but now correction is pega is used for developing internal applications what is internal or will there be anything like external so this we have to do. suppose if you wanted to know something about or if you wanted to go for an so today you are planning to take one credit card from sba bank or city bank whatever it is what you will do for that first you will come to know its terms and conditions right what will be the credit card ratio whatever it is so just to learn to know something about this you will search in google so there will be one website like www.sba.com and if i open this website i'll be getting certain information and this information i can see from any part of the world right maybe from india australia japan pakistan whatever it is whatever the information currently i'm seeing now it will be same across the world because they are putting this information on one website which is like internet which is on internet which is like public domain am i correct fine so similarly within the same organization like sba bank there will be multiple internal applications also suppose if you go for a bank if this is the bank if you go for a bank asking for credit card so here there will be one attendant attender so he'll ask you what is the query if you say like asking for credit card so he'll ask you to go to counter number one or counter two or counter three am i correct so you will be redirected to counter one and the next customer if he is looking for bank account creation he might be re redirected to counter 2 so here three counters and there will be each one employee right and every employee will be using certain application am i correct so he will be using one laptop where credit card application will be there so he will be using one screen where accounts application this might be like loans application whatever it is so this particular application only this bank employees can access am i correct am i correct yes. and this application as a customer you going here can you access this you as a customer can you access that no only bank employee can access it and that to bank employee during sundays can he access from his home can he access from his home no so what are you understanding for one organization, there will be one main website where everyone from any part of the world can access and there will be certain applications, there will be certain secured applications where only employee working in that should access and that too from their server only. It's not like from their home or from traveling, whatever it is. So these kind of applications, whatever we see internally, so these are called internal applications what we are talking about. And these applications will be available only for these employees that too from their server, right? So these are technically called intranet applications. Clear? So there will be generally two types of applications. 
one internet application which will be hosted to the public and multiple intranet applications which will be available only for their internal design getting my point so every organization will be having multiple intranet applications correct everything every organization will be having multiple intranet suppose if you wanted to purchase something related to your furniture you'll go for ikea correct so now ikea is into online also www.ikea.com so you can purchase there so you or i or anyone can do that directly if you go for a store directly ikea store is what i'm talking and you will be selecting with certain products and then you'll go to counter number one for billing am i correct counter number one there one employee will be there where he will be making you to get that done once your billing is done next he will ask you to go to counter number two maybe for extra kind of home delivery there is separate application for that and post that if you wanted to go for any kind of refund or whatever so he'll ask you to go for counter number three so ikea is having like one main website and hundreds of internal applications all these are like intranet is what we have to call all these are like intranet let me tell you one one more example suppose if you wanted to book one railway ticket indian railway particularly so that to tatkal ticket so tatkal will be like generally morning 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock what you'll at this time you'll be opening irctc website am i correct and there you'll try to enter your details and you'll try to book a ticket so if you are trying to do it from this website can you guarantee that ticket will be 100 percent confirmed can we guarantee that no right and that too process will take around minimum two to three minutes time minimum two to three minutes that too we cannot guarantee for 100 percent confirmation so if you are really in an urgent need of traveling better you rely on on this you'll try directly go for counter am i correct tatkal counter you'll stand in a queue and then you'll get that done so if you directly go for an counter it will not be taking like less than it will not be taking more than 10 seconds time that fast it will be and that too 100 percentage guarantee is what we can go for that so what is happening in this design as well as in this design so this particular application is hosted on internet where it is uh, used by public millions of users and this application will be used only by the railway employee only by that employee it's a limited number of users and if we ever checked for this application it will be like black and white screen if you have ever checked it will not be that colorful as like original websites will be you know? so this virtual websites will be loaded with extra technology silver light technologies or front-end designs but these applications are meant for only internal employees for internal employee so this much of styling is it really required no so all the internal applications whatever we see you take any bank one main website and multiple internal applications all these internal applications are to be used only by the internal employees and this is meant for improving their business so using this application if i register 100 customers using this if i register 100 customers maybe like 200 customers per day so business is improving because of these applications so this should be much faster we don't require any kind of extra styles for this so only limited bank employees will be using this this is meant for improving their business not for like extra things so these internal applications we call business processing applications clear so whatever the internal applications we are seeing we call it like business processing applications now any of the tool okay any of the tool which is meant for making this business processing applicate uh, automated so those are called business process management tool getting my point so in shortcut in shortcut bpm2 bpm2 so if my requirement is to design any of these internal applications generally we go for bpm tools so there are multiple bpm tools in the market out of which pega is one top most so finally we are understanding two statements as per this slide pega is one bpm tool am i correct and the second one is using pega we will be developing internal applications only okay so you can even design 
external website also with pega no doubt but that will be more costlier that will be more costlier so if we as a whole planning to start a bank consider we as a whole plan to start a bank something like abc bank 100 percent we should be having one website right www.abc.com am i correct along with that internally we should be having multiple applications so if we wanted to go with pega first what we'll do we'll take pega license and then my statement is like using pega we'll be developing internal applications if we are in a plan to go even for external website design then what i'm saying is license issue comes into picture pega license depends on two factors that i'll talk later okay so day one business analyst what they will do as per license that i'll talk later so due to some license issues we will not design pega for our external websites we can do it it's possible but we will not do it. getting my point so finally using pega we will be designing only internal applications so pega is one bpm tool where it is making internal applications completely automated clear online everyone clear with this statement just confirming online everyone clear okay what about others everyone should understand these things basic things okay. My understanding is, what is that? So, any BPM tool is meant for developing their internal applications okay. only. Today, we are having like Pega, APN. So, a lot of BPM tools are there. But all these are meant for designing their internal business only, automating internal business only. So, if we can, if you are asking me, why can't we do this? We can do but due to some license issues, we are not doing. So you join any project, any Pega project today. So you work there for three years. Next, you switch to another project. You work there for four years. Everywhere, you'll see designing internal only. There will not be any external things developed on Pega. Getting my point? Only for internal. 100% license should be there. But license cost will be minimal if you're going for design, if you're going for internal. That depends upon the number of users I'll talk about depends upon two factors number of users number of work objects what is work object you still don't know what is user also you still don't know. so that is the reason i don't want to put that statement right away got it so finally we are understanding pega is one bpm tool okay where it is developing completely internal applications i might be having five internal applications your project might be having 20 whatever it is all the internal applications can be easily developed with Pega. Print and part can be dragged and dropped. Backend design is automated. Even SQL queries can be auto generated. So developing is like easy. And if I wanted to do one project, so development alone is not the criteria. There are like other things also. Okay, there, are, there will be like other things also. So if I'm the client and if you are the developer, I'll be giving certain tasks. So if you are just developing, will that be enough for me? So there will be other things also. What is that? So next thing, once your development is done, testing team has to test it, right? I have to make sure everything like flawless. Okay, so testing team has to test it. And post that, once testing is also done, what will be the next phase generally? So first it will be development phase. Sorry, development phase. You as a developer will be developing here. And next will be like QA. QA meaning testing phase. So post testing team testing that and maybe in between if there are any issues, it will go back to again development. They will again finally fix it. Once we get sign off, once we get approval from testing team, the next phase will be UAT team. UAT meaning user acceptance testing. So user acceptance testing meaning the real users, real users meaning the real bank employees or the real hospital people, whatever it is. So they will be directly coming to our office they'll be testing it so they'll be giving us proper suggestions so we are currently accustomed with this design the new one is like this maybe my team might be confused please change this design to that so whatever it is they'll be giving us like extra suggestions because this website whatever i am trying to implement this is to be used by the real bank employees only no? suppose if they are accustomed with register button somewhere to the right side and here if there is something like cancel button 
suppose if we give it like in the reverse manner if they're accustomed to click on this right side part where it is like cancel then so there might be such kind of problem right so the real users come they will test it and accordingly they will be giving us extra suggestions so that is what happening in the uat phase post to that there will be pre-prod or production production meaning the real bank employees will be directly used so today you will see it one cognizant company you will see it in cognizant company you will develop it post that it will be pushed to city bank project right so deployment is what they are trying to do okay fine so apart from development there will be other things also so that is like deployment deployment meaning developing whatever the thing you develop so that is being pushed into different different servers different different phases this we call it like deployment so generally for deployment in any project the same right if you are suppose if you are not using Pega, if i am doing with some other technology first i'll do development next it has to be going for testing phase is same so testing from development to testing there should be deployment so generally for deployment that is moving from one server to another server we go for devops tools devops winner so devops tools will be there that is meant for code movement but in Pega, you don't require extra DevOps tools. So I took Pega and I developed and then I have to go for deployment. So you need not go for extra DevOps tool licenses. So Pega internally having kind of de deployment also. Getting my point? Pega has got internally deployment manager. Very advanced thing. Additionally, if you wanted to go for DevOps tools integrated also, it is allowed. So if your client is asking to go for only DevOps tools, you can go even with that. But we don't require. That's what I'm saying. So apart from developing, it is even helping us with the deployment. And there will be one more phase also kind of reporting. Reporting or data visualization. What is reporting or what is data visualization? Suppose if I'm a bank manager working in a bank and there are certain people working as like a clerk in my bank person one dealing with credit card application person two maybe loans person three savings account person for the next one so daily end of the day as a bank manager i should understand how many credit cards are issued in my bank right how many credit cards are or maybe how many loans are issued how many are approved or how many are rejected within that as a bank manager i have to get statistical data of everything so for that for that, we are supposed to go for something called reporting. Reporting meaning pulling out the raw data. So in database, we'll be having all the data, right? Pulling out the raw data in some pictorial form. Pictorial form meaning it might be pie chart or maybe graphical design like this. Every one of you will be using smartwatch right these days. So there you can see like how many steps you are how many steps you are, are doing per day or how many hours of sleep how many glasses of water you drink so everything is being tracked and it is maintained in one database correct for your watch there will be some memory card or some storage there it will be stored and the same data will you be seeing like in tabular form no so you will be seeing in some pictorial form like this eccentric circles is what you call so you can see some pictorial form like this so pulling out raw data and showing in some pictorial form it might be circles or it might be pie chart or graphical designs or speedometers whatever so this concept is called data visualization data visualization if i'm like a railway station master i should understand how many tickets are booked for today how many are confirmed how many are still waiting list so if i can get this as like one graph so this is like waiting list this is like confirmed this is like rejected this is like rac if I can get it like pictorial form, just imagine how easy it will be for the real users. So showing raw data in pictorial form is called data visualization or reporting. So generally for reporting or data visualization, we go for Tableau. Tableau in error? Tableau, Power BI, correct. Okay, so these are like external tools where we go for data visualization. So now if I'm designing something with Pega, if I wanted to go for reporting, you don't require extra tab license. You don't require extra Power BI license. Pega is inbuilt having kind of reporting. Okay. 
apart from development it is providing reporting also for the clients and it is even providing deployment related advantage also okay fine and even pega is providing something kind of integrations what is integration what is integration suppose if you are trying to go for a bank suppose if you are a bank employee if you are a bank employee you will be using certain application right and as a customer i am coming to you coming to your bank and asking for a credit card will you directly give credit card kit for me will you straight away give it no right so you will just check for the eligibility based on what you will just ask for my pan card number okay you will ask for pan card number so after you entering pan card number you will identify civil score this is the process in india i'm talking about so you will just identify the civil score if civil score is good you will give credit card maybe if it is not that good maybe limited amount of credit card is what you will give if it is like very poor it will be rejected accordingly you will decide right so you are working in hdfc bank today and if you are trying to search for something like civil score and deciding so is this civil score related to your hdfc bank hello no right so this is from third party application maybe civil application or maybe rb reserve bank of india this one example so once you click on this submit button what is happening so this pan card number is reaching to this third party application they are trying to check in their database am i correct and based on that they are sending back some response it might be 400 200 300 whatever it is so based on this value you are proceeding further so this particular hdfc project might be developed on pega you might be going for pega and this rb application need not be going for pega every time right so need not be going for pega so this project might be live from past 30 years by the time dot net might be the latest one so they might be developing everything on dot net they might be developing everything on dot net so today we are going for pega license wanted to design something in this process i wanted to integrate with some third party application which is with different background technology understanding everyone so irrespective of background technologies integration should be possible so in pega such integrations are also possible so this is our project which is developed on pega this might be on different stream whatever it is integrating between two applications should be possible so in easy and secured manner integrations are inbuilt in pega and along with this pega is providing some kind of versioning also so i'll just try to complete this slide for today tomorrow i'll try to discuss extra more things also yeah. so pega is trying to provide even versioning also what is versioning what do you think about versioning so versioning in the sense so we understood initial phase will be development clear the next one qa testing and next one uat and the next one maybe like production whatever it is so today you as a developer developed some scripts maybe certain kind of development is what you have to what you have done post that it will push to to next phase testing phase right so if i am the tester here i understood i identified lot of defects saying like first name is not mandatory mobile number accepting alphabets all these are defects right so i am identifying with multiple defects so what you are supposed to do you are supposed to refix it you are supposed to fix it and then once everything is done it will go to the next phase and now in in uat if they are encountering extra issue what i missed here if in uat if they are identifying some extra issue so again it has to be developed by the developer only you know? and if they are giving extra suggestions so still it has to be developed here right meaning day one whatever the design you have you are doing so one version is pushed to the next phase and the next version pushed to the next phase and one more version pushed to the next phase so so the existing code whatever we are having we are trying to versionize into different different slices so one version to this environment one one version to the next one one version to the third one so dividing our code into multiple versions this is called what versioning so you need not understand this statement right away so you'll come to know in the coming classes about this version so if i wanted to go for such versioning generally may, may not be with pega 
if I'm designing one application in the traditional manner where I wanted to versionize, then you have to take one more tool license. Okay, so DFS is most used, used to team foundation server. One more extra license is what you have to take. And you have to even hire one developer for that right or administrator for that right. Okay, so we have to pay them. But with Pega, versioning is also inbuilt. Understanding? So finally, if I'm designing one web application with Pega, it is providing end-to-end -end solution to the client. So if I'm a client wanted to design one project, ABC Bank project. So if I wanted to go with Pega, I don't go for any extra licenses, right? If I just take Pega license, everything will be automatically included. So apart from development, Pega is providing other things also. It is giving end-to-end -end solution to the client or the customer. So every client today, it might be from banking sector or insurance sector or retail, whatever it is. Every client today is being attracted for Pega because of all these consolidated advantages. Okay, so Pega projects are more, getting more today. Okay, fine. So the remaining things like what will be the client thinking in the next phase after taking license and other things. So you have to understand few more things about what Pega is and what are its advantages or maybe sometimes disadvantages and how the salaries will be and how about the certifications and maybe if you join Pega today for next how many years you can survive in the market. So other the other things we'll try to cover in tomorrow's class. And as I told you, we'll be having like three projects, right? So I'll explain you what will be the project also tomorrow. Okay. So make sure every one of you join tomorrow's class also with the same meeting link. Online people with the same meeting link and offline you can directly come at the same time. And this is our number. You can just make a note of it if you don't have. So this is our number. Okay. So requesting every one of you to drop a WhatsApp message on this number saying like, I attended today's demo. So just drop a message immediately so that you'll be getting today's class recording and its respect to document also, maybe a recording. Okay. So make sure every one of you requesting to be dropping one message. Okay. So if you are not dropping, you may not get the recorded video. That is what. Okay. So for any kind of doubts, it might be related to whether you are okay for joining Pega or not or any career guidance or is it correct time for you to learn Pega or not whatever it is if you are any in any such kind of dilemma so if you wanted to talk to me personally you can call to this number okay you can call to this number so if i'm free by that time i can directly talk to you if not my team will be helping you and they'll give you proper time where you can talk to me okay so as a whole i can talk with every one of you whoever is looking for Okay, so we'll continue the same discussion, similar discussion tomorrow also. So clear everyone? So recording is whatever you explained in the last one hour. That is the recording we are going to get. So whatever the class started from morning 8 to 9, everything will be recorded. So this as a whole will be shared on daily basis. General. Along with that, you'll be getting documents also. And let me tell you one more point. Sorry, if you remember. So that is, this documents, whatever, or this particular recordings, whatever you are getting, so it will be given access from day one that is from today to eight months okay eight months recording access will be there okay and the documents will be like lifetime for you documents will be like lifetime and whatever the recordings or whatever the uh, assignments whatever it is this whole content will be accessible for eight months only okay clear right everyone uh, chandra sir i had a question Hello, hi Chandra. Tell me, tell me. Yeah, so uh, like, can we attend tomorrow's session as well to you know decide to enroll for the course? That's or... what I said. So tomorrow also requesting every one of you to join with the same meeting link, and offline people also please come in the same time. Okay, so you should understand something more about Pega, and you should understand something more about our course also. So based on that, based on these demo classes, I'll give you certain time to decide also. Then you can decide. Okay, you need not go for anywhere hurry hurry. But so like when is the tentative start time for the course like so today we are understanding just what pega is tomorrow i'll show you the what real time project and the day after tomorrow also so the next i mean like after these three demo classes our actual discussion will happen so what will happen on your day one of your project and maybe what you will do 
for designing screen number one so actual discussion will happen after first three days so but in the first three days you should understand that what will happen with pex so that is what so since you join like basic program every point each and every point is very very important even if you are working in other streams you might be having like 10 years of java experience you might be having like 10 years of dotnet experience you might be mastering other it field but still you should understand completely more about this backup that is what i'm asking you to first join initial demo classes based on that you people can get some thinking to decide got it right did i answer your question mm, yes thank you Dr. yeah sure sure and some uh, maybe tomorrow after first half of our discussion you'll come to know still more things like what about the certifications how the cost will be and maybe today i wanted to go like three years experience and certification if i'm doing it today so whatever the extra doubts you are having in your mind those will be automatically cleared by tomorrow okay still if you wanted to talk to me you can reach me no worries there clear yes classes will be like monday to friday and saturday sunday classes will not be there saturday will be institute will be open you can come here and you can sit for the practice you can offline people or online who are joining now if they wanted to come offline in future also so our institute will be open like 8 a.m to 8 p.m so every one of you you can come here in your convenient time you can sit for the whole day you can sit you can go for practicing also and whatever the assignments we give if you are facing any kind of extra problem you can come here you can take my assistance or online people you can just call me whatever it is so our institute will be open like 8 to 8 that is like monday to friday your classes will be there mm -hmm. saturday we generally spend time only for mock interviews or maybe for kind of doubt sessions sunday will be completely closed got it clear it online everyone of you you can thank you so uh, please drop a message whoever has joined today online or offline please drop a message so you'll be getting recording in the next two hours sure thank you thank you thank you thank you everyone online